what's up y'all so look who we have here <laughs> we got Bradley back from Idaho for a little bit he's actually just here to pick up his motorcycle but he doesn't have a say no so I can't talk to him but right now we're gonna head to the post office and we're gonna go to Dainese because he's gonna go get that helmet clean <sighs> yeah so right now we're going to the post office because I got to drop off a package for the brain yeah, it's like the good old days <laughs> and it's funny because I could technically I technically feel a little bit more comfortable vlogging because Bradley's on the Sena, but he's probably gonna watch this whenever I upload it. It's been a good while actually a couple months So it's just good to kind of have him Riding again because he's actually taking his bike taking his bike back to Idaho, but which is probably snowing right now Does a helmet fit? Does your helmet fit? Yeah Damn, that van crazy, bro. What the f <laughs> That van made a left turn in the middle lane. That's crazy. I had a little incident here at the post office the other week too. It was pretty funny. Cause uh, I, so I normally come out, come over here to drop off like a few packages and there's like a little, there's, there's a little like section right here where you could just come up, put your uh, packages on the counter, throw it in a bin. And as I was walking in, there was a, there's someone like already being helped and then they're leaving and then I just go like I just walk straight up to the counter because you know usually you're not waiting for anyone there like you're not waiting for anyone at that one because it's not like a help counter it's more of like a pickup drop off <laughs> and so it was like kind of my fault because I walked up and I didn't see this person standing I don't even think the employee the employee saw, saw someone either so I walked up and then I dropped off the counter and then as I was walking away you, I hear this voice behind me it was like and it was like oh so I guess I'm invisible here and I was like, I was like kind of annoyed because it's like, hey, like, I get it. Like, maybe it's, you got cut, but it's like, you don't have to say shit behind people's back. Hey, wait, right? Huh? You know, wait here? Yeah, up to you. I'm going, whatever. That's cool. It's going to be quick. Yeah, so you basically walk up and you just drop it in right here. Yeah, so normally there's no one standing there, right? So I go up and I do what I do, except there's someone standing there. So I decide, hey, I'll be polite and hand it to the person that was standing there. And it takes like a second, literally. You go down straight uh, Euclid and then you take Harbor or you could take the 405 to 55. Oh yeah, then Harbor. So Euclid Harbor. Is it okay if I store some drinks in here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to get around anymore, dude. <laughs> That's cool. You did? It's been a while, huh? It's snowing over there, no? Huh? Isn't it snowing in Idaho? Yeah, but then it snows in the morning and then during the day, afternoon, it's hot. Oh, for real? Yeah, what the f yeah, so Bradley moved to Idaho. So we're just getting a ride in because I think he's going back. We're gonna get a nice cruise in, have a couple hours. <laughs> But yeah, so back to the post office story. So yeah, so like, you know, you saw what I did. You just go up and you drop it off. So even if there was someone like waiting to be helped, like I wouldn't have needed to be helped by them. I just wanted it to be polite. And I get that. I would have had, I would have, if I knew, I would have uh, said, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there or something like that. But to be honest, in my head, it wasn't really a big deal. For, but for that lady to say that behind my back and just, you know, be kind of like petty about it, I was kind of annoyed. I was like, I turned around and I was like, ma'am, I'm just dropping it off. It's not a big deal. And I like walked away. And I wasn't even, I wasn't in my motorcycle gear. I wasn't, I was like, I drove my car that day. I, it was just, I don't know. I thought it was very like, I get it. I get it. I really do. I could put myself in their shoes and feel annoyed and whatever. But I thought it's just unnecessary to say shit behind people's back, you know? <laughs> like that doesn't do anything for you. Yeah, too bad uh, Bradley doesn't have his say now. Otherwise I could talk to him, but I don't. If we gotta go, if we gotta go seven leaves, we, we gotta go Harbor. Yeah, you could Harbor. Oh no, dude, I'm working at four. It's only one right now. What time is it? It's only one. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's hella sketchy, bro. <laughs> like, dude, do I, I'd rather assume that they're gonna hit me than not assume that they're not gonna hit me, you know? <laughs> People are gonna give me space to go unless I'm sitting in the crosswalk. Because it's happened so many times already. Ha! 
Hella sirens. There's a lot of, I heard one earlier, I think they were going down Euclid. But yeah, so Bradley moved to Idaho. Probably not gonna disclose much because I don't know if Bradley would like me to share that, but he just moved to Idaho, you know? Got a live going. What time are you leaving tomorrow? At night. At night? Yeah, but Rachel's trying to find me a flight on Thursday. Oh, Thursday instead? Yeah. Can you can you rebook it without paying a fee? Huh? Can you rebook it without paying a fee? I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, so tomorrow then? They're gonna pick up this tomorrow? Either tomorrow or Thursday. Oh, okay. I mean, look, uh, I don't work Wednesday or Thursday, so do you have to be there? Because then if they're picking up at my house, you just let me know if, if you can't. I had to change the address because I forgot and I put my address. Oh, you, oh, for what, to pick it up? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Doing a little nice cruise. But yeah, so Bradley moved to Idaho, you know, just like life changes and you just do what you need to do. But you know, he's doing good. Me on the other hand, bro, I am not gonna lie, I am struggling to survive out here. But you know, I am grateful because I still live at home. Uh, yeah, I already graduated college. I had, I feel like I had everything lined up for me this year, but you know, due to COVID, everything just kind of got messed up, like real, real, real bad. So yeah, so I don't know. The plan is I, I do need to look for like a full-time job. Uh, that's definitely gonna be on the to-do list. I was close this year and doing something that I really liked too. Uh, when I was interning at Dionysi, it was, it was just something I thought it was gonna happen, but you know, things change, plans change. And but yeah, I am low-key kind of struggling because I'm, I'm running a brand right now and like the expenses and like trying to make sure I'm getting product out and all that is causing to be really expensive it is quite difficult right now because I'm not making like extra funds to kind of like support the brand and stuff so it's just one of those things where I uh, have to reconsider what I'm doing and whether or not this is a viable you know way of running the brand so I might have to kind of slow down a little bit and just and just kind of you know take it easy take it slower than where I was going because I only released like maybe three items last year actually no I've released a lot more than I did when I first started and I think it's, I'm moving at a faster pace than I can afford to basically so it's like one of those things I gotta reconsider but you know I mean the brand is going well I think it's it's got a good traction here in Orange County and like the Garden Grove, Westminster, Fountain Valley area. Dude, out there there's probably no one riding, huh? A bunch of Harley guys. And that's why you gotta be careful of the yield lights. Uh, yeah. It's very important where you know where you're riding, like the street lights and like all that because I know that this light right there is a yield light so I always take my time and you know you always you could read all the cars just assume that you don't have the right of way you know and like you know it's not a big deal people you know misjudge the lights and all that but it's your responsibility to be safe about it huh wait what what oh <laughs> Bro, they're out today, man. We just got finished at Dionysi and now we're just gonna head back because I have work in about an hour, but we should be okay. Bradley wanted to get his helmet clean, so Dionysi has this thing that uh, you could spray and clean your helmet. Uh, it just sanitizes everything so it's cool, like just in case like you bought like a new helmet and it was like the one on the shelf, they could clean it for you. And it's pretty good, it's pretty quick. No, we're good, we're good on time. We're gonna go down towards, uh, what street is this? I think it's uh, left on Adams. So we're gonna go through like this height. 
Yeah. Vlog? Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna start photo vlogging too. And I don't do it. Yeah, it doesn't even do, so. Yeah, just vlog in general. I wanna see what you're doing over there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I, I wanna know what you're doing in Idaho, bro. Who wants to vlog the remodel of our house? Yeah? yeah. Does it <laughs> Yours should be like Asian in Idaho. <laughs> I kind of miss this. This is what me and Bradley used to do all the time. But since we're heading home now, I figured I'd end the video because I'm for sure going to forget. So thank you for watching, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bradley, miss you, dog. Hope you're doing well in Idaho. But thanks again, guys, for watching. And see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>